Getting to the Frank Church Wilderness and the River of No Return can be a challenge. So my brother Tom, a retired Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, landed us at Indian Creek Airstrip, which happens to be right next to the Middle Fork of the Salmon River. And that's where we found a commercial trip, preparing for their own adventure. The Middle Fork of the Salmon is ranked within the top three rivers in the world for its pristine nature and, and also the wilderness aspect that it offers with no motors and no mechanized equipment. Far and Away Adventures, based out of Sun Valley, runs commercial trips on the Middle Fork. And because the water runs low this time of year, they did the first 25 miles in a day without guests who will arrive the same way we did. It's a pretty big awakening for everyone to come and land here, come down off the ramp and look at the river and just see, oh wow, I'm here for six days. Guests will float 75 miles deeper into the Frank Church wilderness, but check out all the gear Far and Away Adventures supplies. They run a different kind of trip a safari style adventure combining luxury with this unique setting. Well, that's one of the more wonderful things about this river is that you leave Stanley and you immediately begin to cross into the Frank Church and you begin to see the wildness of it all, how roadless it is, just a vacation of a lifetime, particularly in this isolation age. As we flew out in Tom's Bulldog, we both dreamt of a day when we get to run this river. But Tom also told me he believes Idaho features the best backcountry flying in the lower 48, with landing strips like Indian Creek scattered all over the state. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.